Righto guys, so we're back. So Captain's been busy yesterday. I just turned up to work this morning and the red one's going. Um, it was very smoky when he started it yesterday. Very tappy, he's done a couple of heat cycles so the lifters have stopped tapping, but it seems to run all right. Supposedly this one had a blown head gasket, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Um, inside is better, a bit average, but yeah. We'll um, get in and see the steering wheel is absolutely disgusting. We've got a um, mad boost gauge. And it's actually got an exhaust temp gauge in it, this one. So let's see what she's going to do, eh? with how that goes and Leith said um, we've got to put a heap of timing in it yet and we can crank the boost up and see how we go have a bit of a play with this before we pull it out so that's a result this actually does run all right with good oil pressure temp gauge isn't carrying on yeah cool all right so I've just got back and Leith I don't know what's scraping there Oh, the side skirt. Should I just rip it up? Yeah, might as well. Oh, did, it, did it break the back of it? Just try and break it if you can. Uh, I don't, it only had two screws holding it on. One at the front, one at the back. Alright. Um, Hang on. Righto, we'll try that again. Now, the side skirt has fallen off properly. Yeah, so at least just put a bit of timing into it and wound the boost right up and then of course there's a customer here we just have to be quick just, um, back in a sec. just be two seconds buddy we're just driving up the road and back testing this all right let's see what it's going to do this time something like like Brakes are good. Oh, can you smell them? Or is that clutch? Yeah, so that didn't make too much difference, did it? I might just pull the um, actuator line up and just, just see how much boost it will make. Okay, before it shuts out. The motor seems strong, but so even if it is slow with the all-wheel drive, bigger turbo. 
turbo and stuff. Let's see how we go. Yeah. Right, hey guys. Here's the update. Now, um, the boost gauge. The reason it's not showing enough boost, like it's it's maxing out just under 10 pound, is they've um, teed it into a little T piece down there, and it goes through another little solenoid that's bleeding off the boost. So that's why it's not showing that. Um, we've now just pulled the line off the thing, and it's just it's got all the boost, it, and it does torque steer a little bit now, and you can feel there's a lot more torque there. Okay, so this car. The red one, because we got the black one and we got the red one. Now, I got told when I bought the red one that it had done a head gasket. It come with an, a VRS set, a cylinder head was sitting on the passenger seat that was milled ready to go on. Um, we, we've just been thrashing it and it's not getting hot. It's not building pressure in the cooling system. Oil isn't mixing with water. We can't see a blown head gasket. The temperature gauge is good and just sits steady and doesn't fluctuate. So what we're about to do now is a TK test. The TK test, you guys have seen us do it before. You put this chemical in here, okay, and then you heat up the radiator so the vapors, the vapors come into here. If that changes color, it means it has um, cylinder. The cylinder creates carbon monoxide and it's a, a CO2 tester. So the CO2 t comes in here and changes that to a different color. So, because it shouldn't have CO2 in the cylinder. In the in the radiator, which means it's getting pressure from the um, pressure from the engine. Into there. So just on a hold. Can you get yep. that line? I think a little ball bearing pull it out of there. The one my valve's on. Just yeah, just so I can. So see, it's pulling up the the heat and vapors from the radiator and brings it into the blue chemical. And if the blue chemical goes green like that, it's got CO2, so it has got a blown head gasket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a definite. All right. So it just isn't showing signs, but there you go. That's why we do these tests. When we go to sell a motor here at the yard, we do that test because as far as we're concerned, we'd sell that motor as a good motor because you can drive it, it runs perfectly, it makes all the boost, can't find an issue with it. Temperature gauge is fine. It's not using water. It's not mixing oil, but it, it's got CO2 in the cooling system. So there's no other reason for that. Right, eh? Um, I'll get this phone. All right. So here's the moving forward plan. Um, this one's done a head gasket, which is fine. We did get told that that it had done a head gasket. So um, I have another motor I can buy, which is a good one. There's, we need a fuel pump for this one because we can only at least fix this fuel pump and got it working enough to be able to use it. That one there, couldn't find one and it's just not going to happen. So now that we know what's going on with this one. Fuel, it's in it. Yeah, it's just disgusting. Smell all right? Yeah, I'll put some deodorant on like that. All right, so um, we're going to pull the fuel pump out of the red one, put it into the black one and we're going to get it going. Um, see what it's going to do this motor actually runs really sweet like it's a really good motor the black one um the red one's that one runs good too. the red one's good now as well it's been heat cycled um we may put a, the boost can oh, we'll just pull the actuator line off and just run all the boost um yeah and we'll get this one going at least we'll have the two going and then next week i can work out about buying all those other parts and then we can get started on our actual track cars but so far i pay i think I feel like I paid too much, but I don't pay a lot for cars all the time, so... But at the same time, I think we've done all right. What do you reckon, Leith? Well, you're not going to get one of those engines run to 1500 bucks complete anyway. No. So... Yeah. It, it's hard to find these engines, guys. And, um... Yeah, it's good to... It's going to be a good, cheap track cars, guys. As I've said all the way along, is it's not about spending the most money. It's about, you know, it's all about the cars. And if you can find a model car that you like, don't listen to what anyone else says. Like, hairdressers, they're going to love us. It's going to be mad. All right, let's get this sorted and go for a run. Right, so he's got the fuel pump in out of the red one, and we're just going to, yeah, see if it's got fuel pressure, and I'm guessing it's going to be pretty dirty. Right, go. Someone cut this. Oh, Jesus. Yep. That's mud, big yeah, time. All right. All right. Run on that. We're going to run it on it's mud. Still going through a filter. Yeah, it's, it's going to run on mud. coloration, it's not. It actually doesn't smell too bad, this one. It's not as bad. We've ran stuff on a lot worse. So, whoever was playing with this had cut that fuel line. We didn't do that. That's ridiculous. But 
All right, I'm gonna put the charge pipe back on and Lethal do a fuel line and I'll get the airline out here to pump the tires up. All right, we'll be racing in no time. Mad. We'll be cutting hair in no time. Fastest scissors in the West. Oh yeah, fuel pump in, here we go. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, it'll run without the charge pipe, but still. No, wait for the airflow meter. Alright. Hmm. Maybe not. Looks like you won't be cutting hair today, dude. Maybe that fuel is just that bad that it's not even flammable anymore. But it didn't smell that bad. Do you want me to throw some... Um, Hmm. Start your bastard. Yeah, alright. Don't run with the airflow meter. Yeah, no, but jam it back up, might just throw it in there. Go. I think that's run on pure start, you bastard, man. Yeah. So maybe the fuel was that bad, is it? Couldn't be. Could be. It's either fuel bad or the injectors are screwed, but it's something we have to resolve, so. All right, let's keep on looking, I suppose. We'll let you know what we find. All right, so t attempt, I don't know. But, um, hang on, I'll see if I can get it to to aero start a bit. Yeah, just, yeah, just, do that. just hold that in To there. get it running and, and then see if it'll... Hold it on until okay. it keeps running. Hold on. See if it'll pick fuel up and clean the injectors and I'll... Right, I'm going to stop. No. Hmm. Okay. Um, All right. This is, this is what happens sometimes, guys, when you buy a car that someone's played with, and now we've got to find what they've touched to make it not want to run. Um, yeah, so we've got fuel, we've changed the fuel. The fuel was extremely bad. We have come across that before. Normally it'll run, but it'll smoke a lot when the fuel's real bad, but um, yeah, we'll keep fighting, fighting our way through and we'll see where we end up, guys. We will get it to go, obviously, but you just never know. Some of them have weird security systems in them. Some of them are just shit boxes. Maybe because it's a hairdresser had it, they chopped all the lines. Who knows? Anyway, see you. Right, so in amongst 14 trillion phone calls for Leith and for me, we've found the injectors are blocked and rooted. So we've found another set of injectors. We're just here now trying to test them. And he's just gonna, I'll, I'll spray you do that. Okay. Ready? That'll just look nice. That's coming out, we need some later. Yeah, but it's clicking, I reckon we'll be alright. No, well, not if nothing's coming out of it. But yeah, so anyway, we're going through the process of, we've got other manifolds here, other turbo manifolds, off the Familiar and off the TX3. We've got the injectors out of this thing now. Found some, hopefully, because the other ones wouldn't even open at all. It's, yeah, not being an easy job. But anyway, we'll get there. Righto, so that's that for today. Um, in the end, the injectors were rooted. We did find injectors, but then when we went to put another one in, one of the little rubber things broke and pff, we called it too hard basket. So that'll come out. We know it runs and we know what the problem is. So when it comes out, new injectors will go in and it'll go in. So Lee's gonna use this motor here. I just got in touch with a mate that's got another motor um, and diffs and spares basically for race days. So we're gonna get all that. We're going to do timing belts, cam seals, head gaskets and ARP head studs in these before they even go into the cars. So that way we'll be able to run a bit of boost. Um, there's another turbo coming hopefully from the guy I'm about to buy this other motor off. It's a modified one with Subaru internals. Um, Leith's gonna run a different turbo. So between the two of us, we'll see which one's better. A disco potato. A disco potato apparently he calls it. So yeah, so we've got a bit of a plan and we're gonna be able to test between the two cars to see which ones are doing better, which one's not, what we need to change. We looked at a few sets of wheels. To start with, I normally would go and spend ridiculous money on wheels, but I'm gonna start with whatever wheels I've got here. 
um, probably not those ones and definitely not those ones but um, I've got other ones here with good tires they're not track wheels or tires to start with but we will use them to get going because as you probably understand it's gonna cost a bit of money to build two cars so yeah but it's a result guys we're moving forward with something and I know before anyone starts to tear up I know I have other projects I know they're not finished I can give you updates on them at a later date. We're waiting on bits and pieces for some of them and bits and pieces and all the rest. But they're still there. They're still getting done. And no, I don't care that I haven't finished them. And if you care, I'll feel bad for you because realistically, realistically, do you think they should have more better things to worry about in their life than my projects that I haven't finished? Yeah, or do your own maybe. Yeah, um, there you go. Have you finished anything of your own today? Yeah. So before you tear up. But in saying that, the hard top, there's, um, yeah, there's it's going to be coming along. We've got a good plan for the for the hard top now. Yeah. Um, the Jag, yes, the Jag motor's there, but it's a matter of getting that back over here. Yeah, but we've got to get the hard top out before the Jag can go in. So, and realistically, the Jags, to get that running and going is not too far away. So, yeah. now we're going back to a six-cylinder. Yeah, um, but it is, everything's happening. Everything has to happen at a certain thing, but we want to go racing, so that's all yeah. there is to it. We're going to go hairdressing. Well, yeah. yeah, you'd be a good hairdresser. Um, you can give them all the good styles. All right, anyway, that's enough.